Welcome to the Usher Ministry. We're so glad you decided to invest your time into serving the Lord through service and dedication. We are one of the most important structures of the church, working behind the scenes. We are always felt, but never seen. Some of our duties among others are ones you may be familiar with, such as guiding people to their seats and collecting the tithe. But there's a bit more you need to learn before you can effectively function as an usher at The Rock. First, you need to know why we are here. Although there is no direct mention of ushers in the Bible, the duties of ushers were there as early as the times of Moses and Aaron. For example, the Levites who served in the tabernacle collected the tithes, kept order, cleaned, prayed, and worshipped, all to maintain the holy atmosphere in the temple. Today, we do the same, although in a little bit of a different context. Exodus 28, 2-3 says, And you shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother, for glory and for beauty, to consecrate him, that he may minister to me as priest. That is why we have uniforms. First, we are coming to God as His servants. We represent Him. We represent His body, the church. Additionally, we are an instrumental facet of God's kingdom, guiding His people alongside the pastor. It doesn't make much sense if we don't look the part, right? For ushers at The Rock, the uniform consists of a specific array of professional attire. You will need to be dressed in a solid white shirt, a solid black tie, and a solid black suit as well as a matching pair of solid black pants. Additionally, you will need to get black socks, black dress shoes, and a black belt. As an usher, you need to wear this uniform whenever you are serving, so you can properly represent the servants of God. And please, keep yourself well-groomed. Proverbs 4.25 says, Let your eyes look straight ahead, and your eyelids look right before you. When you are in the middle of service, you are a leader of a flock. You are no longer there on personal business. You are there as a part of a team of leaders, so you need to be responsible with the part you were assigned. If you need a guideline, simply follow Lado. Listen to your leader, pay attention to the service cues, don't wander around, and observe your fellow ushers. If you do need to leave your post, please advise the leader first through your radio communications. Notes: Ushers are not connected to security. If you have a problem, contact your leader first. The beginning of service is one of the few times that you will have the opportunity to truly impact people's lives. Research shows that the first time visitors to a new church decide whether or not to stay at that church within the first seven minutes that they arrive on campus. That means that from the parking, to the greeting, and finally to the ushers, we are the most important people for the growth of a church. Whatever the pastor does on stage scientifically does less to convince people to come back to the church than what we do on the floor. So recognize that you are one of the most important people to operate in this church. And because of that, we should welcome everyone with open arms. Smile and greet people compassionately. Single those out who look like they're having a tough time. And if prompted by the Spirit, take the time to lift them up to God by talking with them or encouraging them. During the service, make sure you pray over your assigned section of the congregation so that they can receive the word with open hearts. Listen to the message yourself, but make sure to pay attention to cues from your leader as well as the pastor. Watch out for your fellow ushers. Help them out with unfamiliar cues or fill their positions as needed. There are multiple roles an usher must play during service. It may look complicated at first, but don't worry. You will have a particular assigned section and it is much easier than it looks. You will get more details from your leader as you are trained in the field. The first function you will encounter during service is the offering. Once a month, there will be a communion, but don't worry, it is almost exactly the same as the offering. Remember to get into position right when the video announcement starts. Please don't get distracted by the video. When the time comes, the leader will give a radio prompt to tell you to begin walking down the aisle. When the pastor gives the cue, always start by passing it to the right, then receive from the left and give it back, then receive from the right and give it back. This pattern repeats until the end of your section. 
Also make sure to watch your partner so you don't get ahead of each other. During the message, make sure you are standing either in your assigned spot or one of the cattle chutes. Should someone enter the cattle chute after the message began, always greet them quietly and escort them all the way to their seat. When you return, walk to the back of the line so the next usher can perform their duty. We are most likely the last impression that the visitors will have of the church. Make sure you show your warmth, gentleness, and caring heart with a God bless you or even a have a blessed day as they leave. Also, please make sure to clean up your section before you leave, as well as fix any disorganized papers in the seat back pockets. So to close, once again, welcome to the ushers team. We are an integral part of the church for its growth and more importantly, for its people. We are the ushers team. We are organized. We are dedicated. We are in the background, but we fight on the front lines. We are fun. We are serious. We're magnanimous, and we magnify our Lord. We are leaders. We are shepherds. We are peacekeepers. We are prayer warriors. Well, what can I say? We're ushers. <laughs>